40 points on 70% shooting in the first quarter helped propel the Delaware 87ers to a 26-point lead just 15 minutes into the game. The Westchester Knicks did not let that be the end of the story as they made a furious comeback to pull within three with just minutes left in the game. However, they came up on the short end, 116 to 108. We, you know, gave up too much. We weren't able to stop them and, and build any kind of, um, you know, any type of momentum or build anything where we're getting stops and putting things together. So it was, it was too difficult in that first part of the game, and, and it was hard to recover from. They were getting a lot of rebounds, and uh, just, just to be patient, to take care of the ball. Um, and, you know, to set up offense, you know, that, those are the things that we try to you know, maintain and, you know, be consistent with. So, you know, we tried our best, but I think we tried a little bit too late tonight. Three Knicks reached the 20-point plateau and recorded double-doubles. Jimmer Fredette, the high man, 27 points and 10 assists. Jordan Bachinski, 25 points and 10 rebounds. He's doing an outstanding job of getting in position and finishing plays. and. I think you have to give credit to, to the rest of the guys that are finding him in these situations. And Darian Atkins, a monster game, 24 points and 15 boards. I thought he had a super game. I thought he played very energized and you look at his line, I mean, he, he did a lot of things. He had block shots, he made shots, he rebounded it, uh, was very active. Yeah, I thought, I thought he played well. The Knicks now 11 and 5 will look to avenge this loss Saturday afternoon when they travel to Delaware's home court. Reporting from the Westchester County Center, I'm Ann Sachs. <laughs>